shown in Anaheim, California 2012. I'm going to show you the new Chaos products with the new Chaos Later 2 synthesizer and the new Mini Chaos Pad. So they've got some great features. They scale them down. They're ergonomic. They fit right in your hand. It's all touch gestures. They've got a new and bigger screen. There's no knobs. I can scroll through sounds, clicking one at a time. Or with the ribbon controller, it's sweep through them very quickly. There's now 150 sounds. They've added 50 new sounds and a double looper and some cool arpeggiated patterns. So I can use the regular X, Y axis control pad to generate tones. What's really cool, I get some of the arpeggiated patterns. I can create a couple of different loops for you. I guess some of my bass sounds. Pull up a nice, nice aggressive bass sound, maybe. That'll work. Put an arpeggiated pattern on there. I can create a loop on that. I can add as many layers as I want to that loop, but I can also create a different loop. So I want to add some percussion parts to that. some loops I want, to, I want to retain and store. Micro SD card, I can save them right there. Load them on my computer, a DAW, manipulate them, save them. It also runs on two batteries, if you so choose, or the power supply. It's got an external speaker as well, so if you're in a car or in a hotel room, sitting around practicing, working on ideas, you want to share something, you got the external speaker. Plus, as an external microphone and a microphone input, so I can use that to capture outside sounds and drop those into the loops as well. What's nice about the, cha the, the chaos the mini chaos pad, I don't necessarily have to have another device feeding into it. This acts as an MP3 player now. Also, with the micro SD input, I can store MP3 songs in here. It becomes an MP3 player and it can affect those. If I pull up one of my songs, I can run any of the filters through that as well. features. They're very, very cool tools to use for producers, DJs, you want to work on ideas just to be creative. For people that don't have a musical background, they just want to get into things, there's a great way to learn about filters, what a low-pass filter does, what a high-pass filter does, how phasers and flangers work and sound. They're very, very cool. They'll both be coming in at 159 street price, and uh, they're a blast. <laughs>